Hello everyone, we didn't immediately update to RetroArch 1.7.6 because there weren't enough additions which would really correlate to usage on the Mini NES and SNES at the time, but uh, now that we are getting closer in approximation to RetroArch 1.7.7, uh, it is working out so much better, and uh, courtesy of the help of Mad Monkey and Net and Now USA, we have a great spruced up RetroArch user interface, and uh, you can get this uh, icon right here from the KMFD Mod Hub on their Games tab in the latest Hashi 2 CE version 3.53, and uh, we're going to load it up right now, we have a nice dark ozone layer here, and you're also going to get a uh, very optimal and customized playlist support, which I'm going to get into as well, but uh, Right now, I could go to where it says uh, import content, and I could scan directory or scan file. And I already did this for the Mega Drive Sega Genesis collection. I have the entire set right here. And again, this is a work in progress. A few things may change uh, before the final release, but I'm going to go to import content right now. I'm going to go to scan file. I'll go to my demo folder. I'll go to my Nintendo folder. And we'll add a game real quick. And you're going to be accounted for multiple, multiple games, and we have these uh, together. The playlist in a nice, concise, uh, roughly 10 megabyte file versus the 80 megabyte uh, database file that I used uh, last year. Uh, we'll add uh, Contra real quick. Why not? So I'll go to Contra, and I can scan the entire directory, but it'll take a few minutes, obviously. But I'm going to push the A button on Contra, and it's scanning, as you can see at the top left. I do have notifications on with that nice... Uh, incredible how green is there. And now that it's scanned it, I'm going to go back to my playlist. And let's see what we have added to it. Now I have it right there. Contra. And I can just click it. And I can run it. And I can choose which chord to run it with. And I have uh, three, four, five, six Nintendo chords. Obviously, I like to use FCEUMM. Uh, Nostopian, Quick NES for the Mini NES and SNES. But on the uh, PlayStation Classic, Fix NES is actually an incredible one as well. It doesn't work as well here because of the extra accuracy, but I can load it with a FCUMM just fine. Then I can go back into the RetroArch uh, settings again. So we got that on the playlist. I'm going to go add another game to the playlist with import content. I'm going to go to scan directory and uh, let's go to dummy folder. I have a Genesis mini directory here. Or let's find some, just some random folder to add here. I'll add my Atari 7800 games, why not? Okay, 7800, scan this directory, and scan in the entire directory, as you can see the top left. There are uh, 64, 65, I'll let it scan real quick. And what I'm going to do is actually pause the video until it's done scanning, so you don't have to wait. It's at the tail end of it right now, and it's scanned it. So if you're going to be doing a big, massive set like uh, Genesis, Super Nintendo, Nintendo, you might want to just click scan this directory, wait a few minutes, and then uh, come back. And uh, I'm going to go back. And now we have uh, 7800 right there. All the games for Atari 7800 all accounted for. You can also do this on arcade games. So I'll go to my arcade directory. So right now I have 7800, Nintendo Entertainment System, and Mega Drive. So I can add the entire sets for all of these if I'd like to. And you can use RetroArch saves on all three of these as well, which is incredible. I'm going to go and import more content here. I'll do a scan file. I'll just add a couple arcade games real quick from uh, Main 2003 Extreme. Right here. Uh, we need to add Ninja Baseball Batman, of course. So I'll uh, add that one real quick. And then I'll add uh, Moonwalker. I'll add uh, Kid Nicky. Final Fight Custom OSD. Go next to. Just like that. And then I'll go back. And let's go to uh, the arcade games. We got Kid Nicky under arcade games. And I can choose which uh, court it runs with. I can go down to Mame 2000 for Final Fight. But I can also change this to be uh, Mame 2003 Stream by clicking the game and choose in the arcade core I would like it to be. So I could change any of these to what I want them to be. And uh, go back again, Moonwalker. I also have a Mother Mame 2003. Ninja Baseball Batman and Golden Axe. So yes, this is going to be incredibly beneficial and useful for uh, doing stuff like Nintendo, Genesis, arcade games, 7800, and so on. And you're going to be able to do it for uh, 20 plus systems. So it's going to be a nice convenience as far as being in the RetroArch interface. And this view, uh, Beautiful, beautiful ozone uh, interface is incredible to look at. And let's try one more thing here. Low content star directory, dummy. Let's see what we have there. We're going to play uh, one other game that's going to be updated uh, for the update. We're going to play a game that previously had issues with video uh, and sound. It has uh, fixed up sound. I'm going to go to the main 2003 plus directory. And we're going to load up uh, Batsu again. 
which is a great shmup, which is also on the Sega Saturn. But this is a game that did not previously run well on the Mini whatsoever, and I'm going to load it with MAME 2003+. Plus. It has uh, vastly fixed up graphics and sound. It is getting much better by the day. And we'll do this for a brief moment. And again, the update will go out over the weekend with some nice Metal Gear 1 and 2 fixes, as well as uh, this incredible shmup fix for MAME 2003+, Plus, amongst other additions, which are not uh, mentioned yet. But yes, if you played this in previous updates, you would have had garbled graphics and no sound whatsoever. But now we have nice partial sound. I'm saying partial sound because some sound effects are still missing, but it's still incredibly fun to play. And there is no other true way to play this other than Sega Saturn, and of course you can try going on one of the later arcade cores, but you have a chance of uh, performance and speed issues. But another incredible shmup made by Toplin, and I'm going to have to do more Toplin uh, shmups in videos. I've only done a few of theirs before, because I'm usually uh, uh, basically focused on stuff like Irem, Cave, and, uh, and so on. But here, this is an incredible Toplin shmup, one of the other best uh, companies out there. I love the underwater effects here. This is incredible. So I can definitely deal with partial sound because it is such a fun game to play. It is played beautifully on MAME 2003 uh, I should probably try to load the same game on MAME 2003 standard and you'll see the difference between these immediately. So I'll go to low content, start directory dummy, just so you can have a little bit of a genesis qual of how this game used to run. So I'll go to the same thing, I'll load it with MAME 2003 standard. Which doesn't have it quite fixed up just yet. This is kind of more of like a stable code in there. Whereas uh, Extreme and Plus kind of go into the more uh, experimental code in. So we're going to load it with standard right now. And we're going to do a comparison between what we just saw in MAME 2003 Plus. And I'm really, really digging this uh, updated uh, user interface there. It is beautiful. It's almost like a nice... Uh, very, very nice uh, desktop interface. We have no sound whatsoever right now. Definitely much better with the sound. Okay, let's try this out for a moment. And there are graphical glitches here and there in the game as well, which were also spruced up. So the sounding right there is graphical glitches on the ground. You can see those. Those are pretty bad. So I'm definitely much more enjoying the fixed up uh, graphical glitches removal and the partial sound versus this right here. But uh, it is still highly playable regardless. But definitely an incredible game. You're going to be able to play this on MAME 2003 Plus with the update, with the partial sound, and much better graphics. So I hope you enjoyed the video and you're going to have this new RetroArch 1.7. Six extreme as well as support for this game right here with sound and better video. So talk to you soon and the update will be out this weekend.